Wow! I pop aside. See the new agitating group that just emerged in Nigeria. You will be shocked. A group in the southern part of Nigeria has written to the United Nations Organization demanding separation from Nigeria. The group, a Bomb leader coalition through Ofiong Ofiong, who is a member, submitted a document that seeks the breaking away from the state from Nigeria to form an independent state known as the Ibom Republic. According to Sahar reporters, Ofiong was seen in a video at the UN headquarters submitting the document. In the video, he said, I am here today to present a communique that was issued after our meeting on June 5th, 2021. Unfortunately, because of the back and forth of the lockdown and reopening of the UN Secretariat, where the commission is based, we only ended up leaving our document with the officers. But we are happy today that we were able to come. Unfortunately, the COVID-19 restrictions had not allowed us to present the document to all the offices. We are asking for the Ibom Republic. The Ibom Republic will be an attempt for us to demonstrate our emancipation as an indigenous group from the Nigerian state. We want a referendum and we want a decision made. We want our people to go on their own based on the way they have been treated by the Nigerian state. It is an exciting day for the Ibom Republic. Those documents have been submitted and we will continue to follow up. Meanwhile, the Ijo National Congress IGN, has revealed the plan of the Ijo people to leave Nigeria to form the Ijo Republic. The group stressed that Nigeria is an unappreciative nation. Therefore, the people of Ijo are ready to exit the unworkable union. The statement reads, hmm. Wow, that's good. I said it that Nigeria will divide itself. Nigeria will divide itself. And now it is happening. This is happening now. So, what is President Mubari going to say about this? What is he going to say? Because this country is already breaking by itself. It's no longer human that are break that that is dividing this country now. It is the country that is dividing itself. Because nobody wants to be a part of this country again. Of course. Because when you look at the country, you will see that you will see that there is nothing remaining in this country. There is nothing remaining in this country. Because this country is destroyed, is scattered. Nothing is remaining. What is remaining? What is in the economy? What is in the economy? What is in the life of the youth? What is, what is in, in the security of lives? Nothing. So, do you expect the people, the people, to still remain in a country that is not secured? A country which economy is so bad? A country where people cannot live in peace? Where people live in fear throughout their life? The country is dividing itself. Nambikanu's prophecy are coming to pass. Gradually, they are coming to pass. Nigeria will surely divide. I was telling a friend yesterday that this country is dividing itself already. But that friend of mine thought I was joking. He thought I was joking. He thought I was telling him jackals. Unknown to him that what I'm telling him is just, just the reality. He said, hey, it's a lie. You know, if you work, this and that. I said, my dear. Is already working. It's already working because now everyone is is, is is now detesting the country. Everyone is now 
working towards uh, uh, breaking away from this country. Nobody wants to be a Nigerian anymore. Nobody. Everybody hates to be a Nigerian. Nobody wants to be a part of this country again. Because the country has overturned and over, over misbehaved. What is in this country again? People no longer go to, go to work because they have lost their job. Yes, they have lost their job. People that own business no, no longer own business anymore because their shops have been destroyed. Look at our, our, our currency. Our currency is devalued. Things in the market are expensive. And dollar is increasing by the day. What is remaining for crying out loud? Let us tell ourselves the truth. So if things continue like this, what do you expect? It's not for us to divide. The only way out is to divide. The only way out is to break up. Let us have peace. That's the only way out. So not until we begin to tell ourselves the truth, we will continue to suffer. Because we are the ones that call for it. What is happening to us today is what we cost with our own hand. And not anyone. Nobody cost it. We are the ones that cost it. I was saying it in my first broadcast today. That let us stop pointing fingers at anybody because it is the suffering that we brought to ourselves. So let us enjoy it. Let's enjoy it. You understand? So let me say congratulations to us. <laughs> of course. Because that's what we call for ourselves. So look at. This is a new group, agitating group that just came up now. No, now, what is Bari going to do about this group now? Is it, is it going to prescribe them? Don't be surprised. Another one is coming up. This country is dividing itself. Everybody wants to be on their own. Look at the job people. They have started. Now, this one is Ibom Group. <laughs> Ibom Republic. We are finished in this country. Because there is nothing remaining in this country again. Nothing. So let us be wise and brew ourselves some brains. Because there is nothing remaining in this country again. Let me hear you speak, my dear viewers in the house, to know what you have to say. Don't forget to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons. So let's be able to receive more updates. Thank you.